so guys as you can see this is our button here a push button over here and this is our arduino uno and now i press the button see what happens see once i press the button it says button pressed see i press it it says button press and counts the button now i keep it pressed after every 200 milliseconds it again keeps on counting so see it means the button is working fine with the pick so let me show you the code what we are doing here is that we simply have this code we initi we initialize the button we just took an integer for the button and we just initialize the button pin and then we gave the initial state that is low because once the button is pressed it will send a one then we initialize the serial monitor and for the counter we made the counter go zero and then we read the button using this command from pin seven and then we check if the button is pressed and if it's pressed it displays the string and then after 200 millisecond it counts that how many times the button is pressed and then it displays the counter as well simple as that hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how we can connect a push button with an arduino uno so let's get started so guys this is our arduino uno and this is the push button i am talking about it has only two pin and uh, the, this is a non-polar component so you can shuffle these two pins as well doesn't matter so guys i named the left pin as the signal the right pin as the vcc now by shuffling i mean is that you may take the right one as a signal and left one as the vcc it will not affect the functioning so it doesn't matter now guys to connect it with an arduino you will need a 10 kilo ohm resistor and this 10 kilo ohm resistor will decide either once the button is pressed a one will be sent or a zero will be sent now in the configuration in which i am going to connect this button once a button is pressed a one will be sent and now i will show you how you can identify this either a one is being sent or a zero now first of all you connect the vcc pin directly with the five volt pin of your arduino like this now for the signal pin connect it to the one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor like this now from the same pin you will take out your output you can connect it to any available digital input output pin of your arduino i'm gonna use a pin number seven like this now guys for the other end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor just connect it to the common ground now guys in any where wherever you see this button and you see that the 10 kilo ohm resistor is at the grounding end it means that once the button is pressed a one will be sent if this 10 kilo ohm resistor is at the vcc end it means that once the button is pressed a zero will be sent so in our case a one will be sent now guys this is simple as that this is our uh, wiring so let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming so guys this over here is the hardware this is our arduino uno board and this is a normal tick tick type push button easily available in the market you can use any other type of push button as well no issue at all that will work like a charm so you can see that it's simple and easily available everywhere it's a tick tick type and there is a cable connected with the arduino i just connected with the computer so the arduino is on now now we can go to the arduino ide to do the programming so let me turn on the arduino id so this is our arduino id let me zoom in so you guys can see better just go to the left on the file click on new sketch this window will pop up okay it has popped up okay before you do anything else press ctrl s to save your work i write the name learning microcontrollers button tutorial arduino uno okay this is fine just a name you can write any name you want click on save okay the work is saved now guys we need to program our button for that we know the pin we are using is seven just remove these things if you want to keep you can keep them okay now let's start writing the code let me zoom in further you go so you guys can see better now in the wide setup our button first of all we write pin mode now the pin which you which you want to declare as input input capital input input okay now pin mode input this means that pin number seven where our button is connected as shown in the presentation is declared as input if it was an led i was to declare it as an output but button is an input device so it will give an input signal to our microcontroller now for the initial state now as i told you once the button is pressed in our 
configuration if button is pressed a one is sent okay so a one will be sent if a button is pressed so uh, by default it must be zero so for that we turn it zero so digital write write this command digital write what i do is that i write here pin seven low so low means it will be zero means initial lead turning button pin zero now initially the button pin has been turned zero so once the button is pressed only then it will get the high signal so once our button is pressed we get the high signal that is one by default it must be zero so initially it should not give a signal by accident that's what i have just done here now what i what we do is that we go to our forever loop now start writing the code first of all we need to read the button now to read the button you will need a command called digital read so you write here digital read from where seven now seven is a button pin now this command is a syntax of a command which will allow you to read the button and seven means pin number seven read the button uh, correct it to the pin number seven now we will need to store the data that where the read signal will be stored so we initialize an integer i write integer anything like read button uh, that's fine okay read button is the integer i write it here read button equals to now whatever the button state is high or low will be stored in this integer now we check if the button is pressed so in our case as we know if the button is pressed a one is sent pressed a one is sent so we check if read button that is the button is pressed if the button is pressed if the read button is one it means the digital read command is reading one from the button pin it means that the button is pressed so what we do is that we use a serial monitor let's initialize the serial pins as well so we write here serial dot begin and set any border i will set 9600 you can set any border you prefer serial dot begin this will initialize the serial pins so so we can use a serial monitor now now if the button is pressed what i do is that i will write serial dot print ln what it should write like four star four star then button pressed then four stars that's all now end okay if the button is pressed it will show button is pressed okay correct the spelling here okay the button is pressed okay and now the key, it will keep on displaying this for 2 seconds so we should be able to know that the button is pressed now the button is pressed and it will remain like this for 2 second now we also add a counter that for how many times the button is pressed i write here integer count i also initialize a counter okay let's let's first check does this code work or not without the counter okay i click on tick to verify okay the code is verified without error i click on upload okay uploading okay done uploading now we open the serial monitor to see what is happening here tool go to serial monitor here now the button is not pressed so let me show you the button as well we have done nothing so it is showing nothing so we see take a look at both okay now this is the hardware over here you can see that i have not pressed the button now i would like to press the button for that let me make it visible to you okay this is better okay take a look here the button is not pressed now here the button is now i press the button see button pressed it shows here the button is pressed see i press the button again it shows again the button pressed see i press this button again button pressed so it is working so it means once the button is not pressed it is sending zero so if the button is pressed it checks if the button is pressed then it goes into the loop so button pressed and then it stays there for like 2 seconds again button pressed now i add the counter that how many times i had pressed the button so i write here i take an integer called count 
or you can take any integer you want okay and i write here count equals to count plus 1 that once uh, the button is pressed it will increment the counter by 1 and in the one time loop we make it zero so once we reset the whole code it will become zero but in the same code once it has started it will keep on counting okay that is it and now we display this as well for this we just copy this command after a delay of two seconds it will display the number that for how long the how many times the button is pressed let's remove this and write down count here okay now this will display the counter as well now i click on upload Okay, the new code is built and it's being uploaded. Okay, it's done uploading. Okay, now I again show you the hardware. Okay, we got our hardware here and also the button. Okay, this is the button as you can see. Now I press the button. Now it will show a button pressed. See, it showed one. Now it's twice, second time pressed. Now I press it third time. Button press, it will wait for two seconds and then it will show the digit that is three. I press it again. Button pressed. Then four. Button pressed. And then button pressed. And then one, it has reset the code. Two, I accidentally press the wire. my fingers are shortening the button from the back side so i need to place it somewhere like this okay now it's fine okay pressed one again press two so it is working like a charm three four okay we lower down the delay we don't need this delay i think i just uh, remove the delay but it will be too fast to, so i give a small delay like a delay of 200 milliseconds will be enough because it is taking too long to, so to just fasten the code okay i had changed the delay the code has uploaded so you will be able to play with the code i will give you the code as well okay here we go okay the screen is cleared okay now this is a button i was placing the finger at back from the back it gets shorted see the two pins are together so i will now place it like this so now i press the button it says one then three four if i hold it it keeps on adding the counter that the button is pressed see after every 200 millisecond counts again so guys this is it this is how you connect a button now you can do play with the code and make various codes out of it whatever your task is i just showed you an example how you can add a counter as well how you will use a button the simple thing is here is that this command here you have to understand how you will use this command thus you can make any code out of it so guys this is it i hope you guys learned something from this video thank you very much for your time we'll see you in the next video